He tweeted. He was like, I even had sex with a girl on her period. That's how you know I love women. I think Nick is gay. But he is incredibly bad at proving he's straight. He is poor, right? He had all them gay dudes out so he could suck their dicks probably. He's a bunch of fun ass. He tweeted. So what do we have here? We have a lot of people attaching themselves to the bandwagon of flaming educational purpose Meek Mill day to day, meaning that people are going to get their rocks off. People are going to say a lot of things and I'm going to break this down for receipts. Now, if you guys don't know the brilliant idiots, one of the honchos, along with Charlemagne the God, it's a man by the name of Andrew Schultz. Now, he's very funny. I've seen a lot of his stand up in the last nine, 10 years. He has risen to a, a spot where you can say he doesn't really need a Charlemagne the God no more. And Andrew is very diverse in his jokes. And, you know, I kind of respect it. People have certain critiques, but Andrew went on a lengthy joke rant, but not really in a negative light where he talks about Meek and the whole zesty situation. Meek is going to respond. Andrew is going to respond. And before we get started, I need y'all to do me a tad bit of a favor. I need you to smash that like button, hit the notification bell, and thank you for rocking out with the I Smoke Hip Hop Live platform salute to y'all now andrew went to philadelphia he's a comedian he does a lot of touring and, and he likes being to the spots where you can damn near get canceled but or it can help you build so on monday night march 4th andrew went and shared a clip you know what was formerly known as twitter which is now called x and he does his stand up and before i get on with it i'ma let him do the joke I was gay happy. I was like, Meek Mill. Guys, it was... I'll be honest with you, I don't think Meek is gay. I do not think Meek is gay. But he is incredibly bad at proving he's straight. He is maybe the worst in history at doing that. When someone accuses you of being gay, you don't get on Twitter and go, I love pussy so much, it's so juicy and white. It's my favorite thing to put my dick in. I just put my dick in and it squeezes my dick and it's so juicy and it's so wet. He tweeted that and I was like, oh, he thinks that's disgusting. And you know who else thinks that's disgusting? <laughs> the gays. <laughs> nah, but shout out me, bro. Shout out me, man. He's done a lot of amazing things in prison reform, right? He had all them gay dudes out so he could suck their dicks probably. <laughs> So that was some of the snippets of Andrew's uh, basically stand up that night, but it was concentrated around the Meek Mill joke. And we thought Meek Mill was going to blow a gasket. He was going to say some things. And before I show you Meek Mill's response, I just want to get to the response of one and no than other Andrew himself. Now, Andrew says telling a joke about the rapper he brought it up and he went quickly to post meek is not zesty but philly i love you thank you for always holding me down just like meek would hold down puff oh man i didn't even know he still had jokes joking joking meek i love you brother hashtag the life tour now meek is gonna simply respond to this in no other way in fashion than what meek milk could so Meek jumps in there and says, the first time I laughed at being gay, he said, but don't blank with me in real life, I may swing. And we kind of like seeing this right here. Thank you so much. We'll be right. Inviting us into your home. I'm Bishop Magic Wand, founder and pastor of the Magic World Christian Kingdom Church. And at this time, I'd like to share Psalms 31, 51 with you. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out thy transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgression. 
affliction and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only, have I sinned, and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was shaken in iniquity, and in thank you. Man, shout out to the bishop. Let's continue. Now, with me, you just got to hold this and wear it. Whether it's an L or not, you'll be all right. You'll survive. And that's the problem. A lot of these people, they overdo it. They don't know what's really going on. So they acquiesce to what the public is looking for. They're looking for Meek Mill to break down. They're looking for him to do the most so they can laugh at you. This is what the public is here for. And that's what they look at you as a higher tier court jester. So they look at you as being here and me to entertain them. And the more you react to these things it make you look bad. Now I'm rooting for you, but I've done videos claiming that you need to change and get around and away from yes, man, because you need to leave the internet alone. I don't know if it brought you down completely, but definitely it's going to be an uphill battle to face to get back up on top of that hill but without further ado i'm your guy dj bless one of the best one thank you for watching another episode of i smoke hip-hop live smash that like button hit that notification bell you're rocking with the best deuces